Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. The name is Kahango. The game is Pokemon Duel. Today is a special day. I just pulled a double shift. I'm super tired. I just had food. Grigiros, man. It just makes everything better. And I instantly had a lot of inspiration to do a video for you guys. So, first and most, impo most importantly, Mr. Chicken, who most of you are probably even subscribed, is hosting a tournament with common Pokemons. I joined the Discord, I was automatically assigned to join the tournament, so guess what, I'm taking part. So, anybody supporting me, leave it down in the comments. Anybody supporting somebody else, leave it down in the comments, I don't really mind because it's going to be fun. I really hope he does put the evolutions in some of the Pokemon, because some Pokemon, when evolved, actually make the gameplay a little better. Had I made Magikarp, Magikarp is just broken. But uh, beside Magikarp, there are very, very interesting Pokemon that could actually make it a lot interesting. So, continuing on with my own thing. I had a tournament going on too. It got cancelled because I just couldn't keep up with it. Pokefoder is also hosting a tournament. Everybody's hosting a tournament. So, I'm just going to be keeping up, learning from all of them. And I promise I will get back to whatever it was to be happening with the reward and whatnot. Anybody who did take part in the first round are automatically involved in the second round and have the advantage that I already spoke about in Discord. Anybody who's not in the Discord, it's not too late to join. The link's going to be in the description. I am called Henkypus for absolutely no reason. I just felt like I'm a Henkypus today, and that's why it's Henkypus. Uh, what else was it I wanted to say? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was on Discord just right about now, and since the uh, feature duel, you guys all told me that... What the hell did I just press? I didn't mean that. I mean, is the internet even on? Let's get out of the house of cards and use the mobile data because mobile data seems a lot faster outside. So I was in my in my Discord and since the last feature duel you were like super mad that I didn't comment, I want to find Daredevil and comment on his gameplay if he's still on. Bacon Lee, Diamond, Daredevil, there we go. A game where Daredevil plays against two Sceptiles, Moltres, Zabdos, Kabalion, and Leafeon. Wow. That should be very interesting. Daredevil, I hope you won this guy, uh, this guy, dude. I really hope you did. So, what we got here is a Genesect. And actually, it's not Daredevil featured. It's the TBBPT featured. Daredevil is just the enemy of this guy. So, what he does first, he puts out the Leafeon while Daredevil matches it up with the Genesect. And deploying the classic Sceptile against Magikarp. And then Zabdos to kill the Magikarp and whatnot and whatnot. I would, yeah, that would be the best. <laughs> I would get to say that. You know, the, the, this is the problem with the featured duels. This is the, the main, main problem that you set up for some things, you know, and this is just, is, there's no there's no span to, to commentate. So what's happening right about now is just the people making plays here and there and setting up the board and whatnot, but I just don't have enough time to speak about it. So every single Pokemon is on the field. There is still not a dead one. And there's going to be some sort of jumping around or whatnot. Attack on the Magikarp from the enemy on a mess. The Magikarp misses. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm stumbled. This is happening just too fast. In any case, this is going to proc the uh, the Gyarados, the blue the blue uh, fish, which could potentially hurdle jump over, and it's going to happen because it is in a really nice position to surround that enemy um, Sceptile if it doesn't attack and doesn't kill it right about here. Gonna be attacking on the Moltres though. Gonna get the roost against the Stealth Hit. It doesn't really matter what happens because the Serrani is gonna go off the next turn. Which is enable Daredevil to get a really slight advantage because there's still a Zabdas on the side that can potentially kill that one off. But there's gonna be an attack with each attack towards that uh, Techno Blasting Techno Blaster. With a Grass Whistle going off, which is quite irrelevant because it's gonna be waking up by probably the Empoleon. I wouldn't take my Empoleon there, but uh, it still works. There's gonna be another X attack. But this time on the Sceptile against the Zabdos. I'm guessing to uh, get the Stealth Hit off. That's the best... No, it was a Nyx attack. What am I even saying? Why would I say it's a Nyx? It was a Nyx attack. It was obvious it wanted to kill it, right? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> but the Emporium is going to be defending. I didn't see if there's a Hurl Jump because obviously it's, too, it's, it's a duel that I can't see. But there's going to be a Stealth Hit and it's going to be taking it so he doesn't get surrounded. The Moltres will backtrack a little bit, and the Kabalan will match up against Zappa. Zappa Zappa doesn't want none of that. Mm. <laughs> Fucking shit. And there's gonna be an attack on that Hydro Pumping Hydro Pumper uh, in Poland. 
I would like to scale the 70 damage on my Empoleon just because it will freeze the enemy and still kill me, which you need. There's gonna be a quick attack towards a miss. Oh wow. That Sceptile is MVP. Two mons in a row. Zabdi will have to defend. An extra, I'm guessing, is gonna be a something something. And I would need to kill that hoe right about now. I would honestly like to attack with the hoe and get it killed against the Sceptile. And it's gonna be hyper bring towards a still wing. It's not gonna be over spinning. Nice. There's no need to respin, it's still on his turn. So Cabalan will have to defend because the hurdle jump is already expanded. Or is it not? Is it? Yeah, it is expanded. So there's gonna be ooh, hyper bring towards a sort of justice. The lighter roll number two going through for the Gyarados. And now there is only one Pokemon that can reach. No, there is a gold block. But I mean it could just walk, right? It could just walk to block the Gyarados off. No? Am I wrong? Am I missing something? What, what is happening here? <laughs> There's gonna be an S around on the Moltres. I don't necessarily agree on that, but uh, it's not my game. There's gonna be a little raid towards a Steel Wing, which is very, very unfortunate. The Empoleon will be loaded out, but there should be a gold block from the uh, that Bluefish to potentially storm the shit out of that one. No, there's gonna be a leaf blade towards a hyper beam. Sceptile getting taken down by the bluefish. Green blob going to the bench. There's gonna be probably a goal blocking at some point. I mean, entry blocking at some point from the Genesect. Which is, at this point, not so very relevant because, I mean, there should be the kill from the ho -Oh going through. The ho -Oh should be suiciding right about five minutes ago and not letting that Cabalion get through. To the, uh, to the Gyarados, and the lights just went out, so give me a second and put them on. So we put the lights on, there's gonna be a thunder charge towards a fire blast. That hell just doesn't want to die, it seems. But it doesn't matter, it will get paralyzed, which will only enable it to keep on attacking. But this should have been done a while back, right about now. Because this Cabalion could potentially kill this guy off. Oh, wow. And then the Moltres will have to deal with it. I mean, Moltres can deal with the Cabalion pretty effectively, but if that Moltres dies, what else can you do? I mean, you do have to attack there if you lose, um, if you lose that uh, Guardian Pokemon. But this is taking 60 turns of extreme action. Hello, just go ahead and die already, please. Hello, that is like the one thing I would do. I would go ahead and attack that Leafian, by the way, so I can take it away from the uh, entry point from the goal because Leafion is actually the one figurine that can dodge for ages, right? So why not get a chance at it while you're doing it? So there's gonna be another Thunder Charge towards a... To, towards a whatever rainbow thing that dude does. It's gonna be a roost towards a Thunder Crush. The Moltres is gonna get roosted. I don't know what are the thoughts behind those players right about here. I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to keep up fire what <laughs> this is so not going the way he wants it it's crazy but i'm having a really hard time keeping up right about now if this leafion dies right here it's gg i guess it's gonna be a grass whistle towards that um hello i would not kill the hello i would leave the hello there sleeping for life and that is a good call from the enemy right here there's still i think the tropical energy that could potentially wake it up after those, um, all those poke. Oh, that was bad. I mean, one stealth hit could totally leave you the game that Daredevil. What the hell, man? I mean, for real? That was so bad placement right there. Now you need to attack. Nope. Okay. I would mean, I mean, I mean, this is what you were baiting it for since the, since the first. This stealth hit was something you were waiting for the, for the cheese to happen. That was a GG, but uh, don't ever ask me to commentate a feature duel, guys. It's impossible. It is just unreal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, is there anybody? And rules. Is that a legit Xernas? And Oh, Oak. Oak. Oak is featured. Let's go watch Oak. Oak owns me in freaking room matches. He gets all the freaking RNG in his favor ever. So, let's see if Oak can do it again in uh, in action like I don't record the, the, the room matches because I usually test decks but it's gonna be against Rod 
So Ogre's gonna start defensively with the Mew, which is totally fine. And there's gonna be a Zapdos to play by the opposing side featured with the Magikarp. I don't know if that's a good matchup, because once the Magikarp is dead, I mean... You know, the Gyarados against the Zapdos have a 50-50 chance. Totara deployed right after the Dell A form. Tropical Energy is gonna be set up. I mean, that's totally fine. Since the enemy is gonna be advancing with that Verizon, I would have went for the, uh, yeah. Okay, no, I wouldn't have. That was a bad idea of mine, because I totally forgot that Torterra's ability is to let people in and there was a new on the bench. But there's gonna be a double chance towards that freaking uh, Sceptile. So one dimensional flip towards a Leaf Blade. Okay, sleep again. Sleep again, please. Not gonna happen, unfortunate there. I always like when Dale attack form gets uh, beat up after trying to be super sexy about it. But there won't be any surround tricks at the moment. There was just being a, a, a new defensive a little bit about it. I mean, there could be, yeah, an attack on the other side of the, uh, of the, of the field or whatnot, you want to call it. There's going to be a bait for the surround. I don't think there's going to be Oak falling for it. I mean, there's absolutely no reason for him to go so. But he's going to try to roost the shit out of that Zapda, which is totally fine right there. And he's going to be taking that place so he doesn't get... Uh, so it doesn't get hurdle jump over or whatnot. Even though I think that would, the, the, the board is set up right here, so the hurdle jump wouldn't happen. But uh, the paralyzer is not going to go off. There's going to be probably... Is there, no, there's not going to be an attack on that Verizon. It's totally fine. There's going to be a paralyzed on the Verizon. No, the Mew. Okay. Mew has to take the, the goal. Oak is being pressured very, very highly right here. And Nick's attack. Oh, for the chance that the uh, Psychic against the Soul rolls. Okay. There's going to be a roost towards the Hyper Sonic, though. Not paying out for that Zapdos. I mean, it could mean trouble for the enemy right about here. Rod guy being very aggressive right about there. <sighs> I don't necessarily agree. I mean, there's going to be a double chance towards that uh, Moltres. Towards that Zapdos. And it's gonna happen. There's gonna be a Thunder Crash towards Crushing Flames. The Crushing Flames are gonna put things on fire there. And Poland is gonna be deployed towards that new. And Poland has a really high chance of getting you out just straight away. There's gonna be an attack towards the Torterra Roost towards Withdraw. Nobody's gonna get a weight. And now Mew is in a really, really tight spot. There's low battery popping up. We don't care about that because the match is freaking exciting. Dimensional Sleep Towards Side Typhoon Slash. Nice. That was really nice there. This puts our, our, our player Geo on a freaking humongous advantage right about now. There still could be a kill on the Torterra from the Zapdos. I mean, one X attack. Do you have an X attack even? I mean, have you watched my games? Don't you learn, Oak? One X attack, Earthquake, everybody gets thrown out of the game. And with the Miz Risen being a thing, I mean, it's totally, totally working. But we can see there is a potential threat of the surround of the Risen, which uh, Oak doesn't want to even try to take. And that Zabdos is being ineffective against the Torterra at the moment. I mean, one miss or one bite could totally set things down for, uh, for that uh, turtle. There's going to be another double chance towards the DOA against that Zapdos. Because he just doesn't want it there. I mean, Zabdos, all you have to do is roost, buddy. Well, Thunder Crash towards an dimensional slip twice. And... Oh, the miss is even sweeter, though. Holy wow. Dale, get wrecked. There's going to be advanced with the Zabdos to seal the entry point. I would think that there would be, like, some... Uh, some uh, Verizon things going on, you know, to get the Magikarp out of there or whatnot. But there's going to be an attack on the Moltres. Okay. The mist or the dodge. How lucky are you, man? That Empoleon can totally steamroll through that little end. Oh, God. 60 towards an Aqua Jet. He's going to work out for the Moltres. Lucky, lucky roll there against that Empoleon. I mean, that Empoleon lucky, unlucky, whatever. You know what I mean. There's going to be... If I were the Verizon, I would go sideways and tag that mute to get a uh, cheeky... Excuse me, surround kill on, on the enemy. All you have to do is double chance. Okay, you didn't do, do, need to do that, but... I mean, if it was me, I would actually try and bait... You don't want to do that, you don't want a double chance. I would actually try and bait 
the uh, the surround kill either exactly there or the the new even. So this is gonna be this is gonna be happening. Yes, yes. This is so satisfying to watch. Gario, bro, you're getting all the favorable <laughs> rolls in your favor. I mean, <laughs> are you real? Are you even real? Sort of Jasper is gonna go out against a shower clip. Mew is gonna just go off. Molt is gonna slide right in. And Oak takes a rod. Takes a victory from Rod. Well, a GG from both sides, but as you saw, the RNG it's it, it was in Oak's favor the whole game, so. Let's see if we can get a third uh, feature duel to watch. And and Ruiz. I don't know if that's a legit Kirlia. Kirlia, I played against Kirlia. He's he's a really, really good player. In a previous video, I could even link it. So, Lego joke. Okay. Mutation. And Ruiz. He's playing against a 3.1k player. Let's go real quick and check the Discord to see. To see if that is legit and guild. And guild. What do we have? What do we have? What, what are we? And Ray running Rui. And Rui. Is that legit? And Ruiz. Ruiz. I don't see her name, Ruiz. That is fake. Right? Am I right? Yeah, that's probably fake. Fake ass. Okay. Mutation. Is Mutation one of us? Mutation. Is an M. M, 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 M. Nope. Mutation just has a capital N in the end. Okay. I guess. We don't have anybody... But let's just watch this guy. He seems totally cool. I mean, the deck is very, very similar to um, S Mystic's deck. Except the Empoleon Cheese. Which is quite fun. Max Revive or, or Scoop Up. It's very fun. But uh, what is very interesting is the 3.1k player with the Phantom. I really, really like Phantom when evolved. Trevenant is just a freaking beast. I really hope Trevenant had the ability Speed Booster instead of the ability that it has right about now. But uh, this is totally, totally like baiting the new to um, to defend. Dragon is going to be set up here. We got a lot of people setting set it set it up right about now. I would have taken the point to the right, quite honestly. I mean, Leafian can jump straight through, but now it's impossible. No, it's not impossible. I mean, it could jump through everyone there. The board is set though. Uh, who's going to make the first move? It's going to be our. Uh, Sceptile. Making the first move against a Razor Leaf, Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade is a lot stronger than just Razors. So it's gonna knock the shit out of that uh, Leaf Man. That should have went for the Mew since ever, but uh, okay. It's gonna be Sceptile defending against that Moltres. I don't think the net attack was necessary. Sceptiles tend to you to roll the quick attack first turns because of the uh, cheese going through for some reason. I don't know. But uh, now the the uh, Japanese player, or the Japanese named player with a cool mask, is set up two monsters behind him. It's gonna be a sort of justice uh, chain level three. I'm uh, Whisper. Is this you, Whisper? I mean, you're the only guy that has so many Terrakians, Am I right? The evolve is not gonna happen on the Magikarp, which is quite nice because the Zapdos will have a chance to advance, and even if that. Uh, <sighs> I lost my words. Even if that Virizim were to defend, that Zabdus could potentially kick the shit out of it. That was a defensive move against that Moltres. Just in case it rolls Steel Wing twice, and you have to hurl jump to defend your goal. Which will you hurl jump for? No, you're gonna go balls deep and attack. Oh, that is ballsy, man. What are the chances even? Are you kidding me now? Wow. Wow. The RNG is, is just... Hey! I, I'm gonna troll the shit out of you. Well, the Magidas is gonna evolve into Gyarados. The Magikarp into Gyarados. Magidas is one word. Redfish is gonna become a Bluefish. We're gonna be Phantom defending. The Phantom has a high chance of just killing the shit out of that freaking uh, Gyarados because uh, of the confusion. Once confused, Gyarados is bye-bye, baby. The Sceptile counter to Rakan is gonna... What? Wow, that was legit. That's gonna be a goal, uh, an entry point blockage 
from the enemy and the Leafian trying to surround the Gyarados. And there's already two Pokemon killed. So Gyarados rolling a storm here could potentially threaten a lot of things. But the Protect will prevent any type of advancement and probably the Surround even on the Gyarados. I mean the Gyarados is a powerhouse, but I don't think it's worth letting a Thor guy uh, in the face of Moltres getting out on the field while uh, letting just the entry point be. Okay, the enemy will not take the Zabras out, which is good for me. I'm gonna let the point alone. I mean, right at this point in time, uh, if the uh, Zapdos attacked the Verizon and killed it, there is a really high chance that the uh, enemy would uh, not be able to advance from this at all. I mean, we think we can still get onto the goal if needed. There is a defensive point from the uh, from the enemy. There's not going to be an attack, unfortunately, though. How are you going to go for the kill? Are you? There's going to be a double chance. I'm guessing there is going to be the kill pressure going through. Which is going to happen. The Typhoon Slash against the Thunder Crush is just going to crush the shadow of that Verizon. And I'm guessing he's just happy about it because the next one is going to come off the Zabdos. And now all he has to do is to just ex-attack that Zabdos. Gonna be another double chance. I think he has more chain levels. But okay. And Ruiz is being pressured like crazy. The Thunder Charge. Come on. Oh man. The Thunder Crush was the Thunder Crush with a double chance paying out its load. It's gonna crush that Thunderous Bird off. And the gold block should be going through for the, mold, for the Mew. Okay. Okay. That is totally fine. That is totally fair. I see that happening. Uh, there's going to be an attack towards the Zabdos, which is a really nice call. The miss is going to go through, <laughs> which is unreal. And uh, I would go all in with the Tarakin. I mean, the enemy would just have to attack and I'll have to roll a Protect in order to survive that. It's going to be a Protect. The Surround is going to go off. Uh, well, it was a really high chance. I mean, half of the Mews will could potentially roll. Well, less than half, but could potentially roll because... It was automatic miss, and uh, anything that the Rackin would roll against that Psychic would totally kill. I mean, sort of Justice or the other ability. There's going to be a dodge towards a miss, very unlucky there. But I mean, whatever you're doing here, you need to seal the entry points. Once the entry points are open, it doesn't matter what you kill, right? You need at some point to keep them sealed and keep on going uh, on. Hypersonic towards a Hyper Beam, a lot of hype going through not going to matter much, but Mew has obviously a nicer matchup against the Gyarados. So I do just keep on spamming like the A with well, the Shadow Flame and Hyper Beams trying to... Very sorry about that. Trying to be smart about it. But there is still a lot of aggression going through with the Stealth Hit and, and, and Shadow Flip and Stealth Hit and whatnot. And a Storm against the Shadow Flip. So lucky. So lucky that Gyarados. I mean, the Mew will try and go around that, which is totally fine, I mean, okay. Another Hyper Beam towards Hypersonic, not paying out. Is there not a Hello Jump in the game at the moment? It would be fun. I mean, the Surround on the, uh, X Attack towards the goal, okay. But there could be a Surround on that, on that, uh, Sceptile right about there, and a Goal Threat right after that as well. So the Protect is gonna go off and save that uh, phantom, the phantom can be phantom for life. I mean, the surround is gonna go off right here. Go, um, go thread could be there as well. There should be some sort of attack on the moon. A psych towards a quick attack. Oh, shit. Okay, a protector with a stealth head is not gonna pay out anything. I mean, this, this could go for forever. And he's gonna go and surround that Leafian because he just wanted to, and then he could potentially go and surround the Iron Man, which is obvious we'll be seeing. <sighs> I'm out of breath. This is insane to keep up. I mean, guys, for real, you wanna just talk to me? I mean, I just did 14 hours of work, and you're like going, so comment, comment on the games, comment on the games. <laughs> I mean, it's fun to watch and whatnot, but, uh,. The hell? The neighbor's dogs are really loud. 
What could be a replay of Hypersonic against a Hyper Beam? Going through again and again and again, and a roost against a Hypersonic. Okay, I'm getting sleepy right from this only. <laughs> okay, we see. Oh, a miss. A miss. Yes. That Mew was really, really happy about that, I'm guessing. But there's still another Mew to 2 3. Right? <laughs> But the rules will fade, so the Zabdas could potentially move through. My phone is going to be dying soon, so this is good. This, this should be ending soon. It's on t turn 80. This is unreal. It's just going on and on and on and on. The reason would try to go for the choosing the Phantom, which I don't think will ever happen. To protect the confused, come on. It's going to kill it. But alright, I mean... Totally fine. Is the potential of the surround? No, there's no potential for the surrounding yet. It would be on the next turn, if so. There's gonna be next attack that I'm going through towards the miss. Oh yeah, this is now getting very interesting. This is now getting super, super interesting. There's gonna be a Zabdos deployed defensively. There should be a Zabdos going through to take the entry point, right? Okay, he's gonna be trying to... Uh, to block the uh, receptile from going onto the field right above here. So, this is the way to go. And we're just being pressured like hell right now. But uh, I don't know what this Verizon is trying to do there. Being all, you know, I'm here, I'm here, try me out. But there's gonna be Typhoon Slash going through. And oh man, is this dangerous. The cheese could be going and the cheese could be going in. Okay, it's all out. It's all out. I mean, the Mew could totally go back and defend, right? But it's gonna be a Thunder Crush towards a Steel Wing. It's insane. The, oh my god, the, the, the amount of ballsy plays there. And Ruiz. And Ruiz, dude. That was unreal. I mean, you're not legit and I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm concerned, but the ballsy plays. <laughs> the ballsy plays. Well played. In any case, I hope this was better than the previous music video. I know I didn't do well or, or well enough, but I hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, have a nice day.